Good morning, or afternoon I should say. Here we are on the homestead. Well, this morning had a lovely cool breeze and I should have taken advantage of all that and working, but alas, I did not. So here it is noon. It's supposed to be 98 degrees and it's gonna be a hot one. Four degrees higher than the last time I tried to work outside and felt weak. So, this is gonna be a long day. What I've chosen to do today is um, this area right here is where we were going to do one of the builds and if you remember it had the big dip and we filled it in with dirt. We planned on starting the build, uh, the next build over there. That's what we had agreed on. We took out three trees to do that. In the process we realized that there were two more trees behind that are dead to the side I guess you could say of where we want to do the build. Well, we, we're going to have to bring those trees down because they're too close to the building if they decide to fall or if we decide we're going to drop them. So we need to drop those trees. Can't drop them today because Lee just had his epidural last week and we just need a little bit more time um, before we do something kind of strenuous. Anyway, so what does that put me? That puts me back over here where I was filling in the dirt. The grass is starting to well, it didn't start. It's almost covered the whole area, so you can't see that huge section. So what I need to do is get a lawnmower and mow this area. Now, if you recall, it's been some time now, but I ran out of gas in the riding lawnmower and I never filled it back up. So, also, I have another lawnmower. So, I think what I'm going to do is get the hand lawnmower. The electric one will be easiest and mow it down by hand. Then I'm gonna go over here to where the pond's dried up and try to get some dirt out of it to level it off some more because it was holding just a little bit of water that we don't want it to hold. So it needs to be leveled off. Get all this nice dirt in there and uh, this will be the place we lay the bricks for the next build. And so, yeah, that's, that's what's gonna happen. And so, <laughs> I gotta go get some supplies. Lawnmower, shovel, wheelbarrow, a whole bunch of stuff to get busy. And I hope you'll stick with me as I do my work. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I think you can see um, behind me the area that we planned on going it's fairly level but it still holds a little bit of water and uh, I think it's in that corner right there yeah. there's a little dip towards the back so what we have here is there's a, a mound that goes right down the middle of um, this this area right here and that side has a stream of water that flows all the way from the other side of the property all the way down. We're going to make that into a natural stream, a dry riverbed in the summer, and uh, it flows throughout the winter as it rains in spring. Then on this side, it also has water. Back way behind me, it's a fairly good puddle, and it comes from behind and the side where all the water floods this away, and it gets trapped there. So what we need to do is break through that mound so the water keeps going. Also fill it up full uh, so it doesn't puddle there, but also so it just flows right on over there. Then, same thing right here, where the water seems to be puddling is because it's trapped. So we want to breach through that um, area, making it, making it so the water will keep on going. 
up front it does keep on going and uh, there's a good slope that goes downhill and so a lot of the water comes from over here and it just comes and then it flows right on down so we just need the whole thing a little bit better so when we put the building up there's no standing water under the building which means where the bricks end up holding the building up there's no standing water preventing the bricks from sinking the way it was this last winter if you remember it was pretty muddy and we can't build over mud now the the water the ground is really really hard right now and and so um, for the most part um, adding a little bit of dirt in that little area there and then trying to breach through that wall will be the best bet for us Now since it's all dry, it's really hard to determine where those wet spots were. I do have a flag to show me where some of the wet was. Right there, that's where it was holding um, the water. I think my best bet is to try to breach the ground over that hill to make sure that it just keeps flowing. Um, I can bring some more dirt in, kind of where that flag is, I guess. Huh a lot of work. I need to pound it down because there's still some clods and uh, and then get some more dirt I guess. I should work on that that spot way out there and bring the dirt over there because that was really really wet. Either way it's gonna be really hard because this uh, shoveling stuff in the heat's not so fun.
totally done with this task. I'm moving on to something new. I can't do that again. At least not today. Ah! Okay, what I'm going to do now is, I don't know if you can see the lawnmower there. That's the lawnmower that I need to put gas in. I'm going to just hand mow <clears throat> where this table and chairs are because I, I'm really tired of weed eating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the furniture, mow the area, and then I'm going to put one of those uh, nylon straw rugs down that we've got in different places and put the furniture on it. Then the weeds won't come uh, up under the chair and we could just uh, mow around that or weed eat around that and not have to go under the chairs and things. I think it'll be more convenient. So let's get on this job. Okay, well, I could have used a bigger rug. Uh, this was an eight foot five by eight. I think a six by eight probably would have been better, but it is what it is. Um, that'll save me from having to weed eat around the table. So when I mow, it'll be faster. And uh, also we'll be more tempted to sit down on those chairs in the evening time if the grass isn't super long around our ankles. So this will be good. Okay. Well, we've done a lot of work so far, and there's nothing like taking an ice cream break. When you're burning up hot, ice cream goes a long way to cool you down. So, I'll be back to work after the ice cream. One of the things we need to add to the Cat Avery is the tunnel in which it goes from the RV to the cat cage itself. And so to do that, we're gonna need to have some type of a framework done uh, and a, make a tube. So. Um, I'm going to look in this scrap lumber and see if we can find some wood. We've got seven boards that are the exact same length and uh, there's lots of nails and staples in there so we're going to have to get those off. So we'll let Lee make the final selection of what he wants to do. Okay it looks like we have a couple, looks like we have a couple four by fours and uh, then I guess smaller than that three by threes not sure um, but then there are some that are real thick um, and and wide so uh, but they're not uh, they're not square they're those will work really good as legs as well there's like four four or five of those and um, I'm not sure what Lee wants to use so I'm just going to hold off at this point I've pulled out the wood. If he wants to use the other wood, I'll pull out that wood for him. And uh, this is going to be a big project, so I'm sure it's going to be a project that he works on tomorrow, not today. But to pull all the wood and get it, get it kind of a plan going is a good thing. Okay, that's it for today. I've done enough work outside, now it's time to do some work inside. Got to cook that dinner. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share. Press that notification bell, subscribe, 
and we will see you next time on The Homestead. Bye-bye now, and God bless.